Well, I know that you always like to give us the mind, body, and spirit connection, and that's in every show we do. So, when it comes to acne, can the mind affect acne? Yes, so definitely a lot of stress we know that can make acne worse. I can, you know, see it in, in my own kids when it's exam time, they, their skin gets worse. Why is that? And that's probably <laughs> related a little bit to the stress eating and the wrong foods, yeah. but also definitely the stress has that impact on, on what's happening and stress affects our microbiome. So you can see how everything is connected to everything else, yeah. that it can definitely have that impact. So one of the things too is that with stress and a, a lack of sleep, so the lack of sleep and, and that out of tune circadian rhythm is something that can also have an effect on the skin health and on the acne. So having a healthy circadian rhythm, meaning going to bed at the same time every day, trying to wake up at the same time every day. We talk about this in our other episodes on the sun. We talked about, hmm. you know, how to get that proper circadian rhythm. And in a future show, we'll do a whole show just on circadian rhythm because yeah. it, it really is, you know, an important aspect of having health in mind, body, and spirit. So when we come back to that mental connection with, you know, having the the acne problem, we can actually do something in acupuncture or acupressure. So you don't have to use a needle because yeah. a lot of people don't like needles, yeah. but there's a point here and it's part of the governing vessel. So that's one of our, the main meridians and it goes right down the midline of the body from traditional Chinese medicine, TCM. And so what you can do is you can gently do little circles on this governing vessel point. And this happens to be where the third eye is. So, you know, when I talk hmm. about, you know, um, energy medicine and, mm -hmm. and our connection to our chakras, but this is that third eye point, and this is good for stimulating the pituitary gland. So we have something oh. called the HPA axis, the hypothalamus, hypothalamus, people say it different ways depending on where you grew up, yeah. um, and the pituitary and that axis has a lot to do with our adrenal function or other male and female hormones. So this is sort of the, the center of that pituitary function. And just by gently doing little circles a few times a day, this can really be a helpful way to help with the acne. So try it, right? If people have, have um, uh, questions about that or they, they think, you know, yeah. that they want something easy to do at home that doesn't cost anything, just do and make sure your finger is clean. So, right, right. when we talk about uh, the hygiene, we're going to get to in a second, I know, you know, to make sure that you have healthy, clean hands when you do that. Well, you know what, we all like to think that we are clean. We try to keep our hygiene yeah. as, as good as possible. But can hygiene actually have anything to do with acne? Well, yes, yes and no. So as much as we think, you know, for people that are not hygienic and they're not cleaning themselves right. that, or not washing their face enough that, that that's the cause for acne, no. Um, but certainly washing the face in the right way and having the right balance, remember the microbiome on, on the skin is important. So there is, you know, special tips. There's cleansing, there's toning of the skin and certainly we share in our TikToks and things, uh, we have natural and, and on the YouTube channel that we have here as well, we have different videos um, that show you natural cleansing, natural toning with all natural ingredients, but you can also do a spot treatment. So we have a fantastic recipe in which we use calamine lotion and an essential oil of tea tree, um, which is mixed together and that has a drying effect on the active acne pustules or the ac active pimples and you put that on and leave it on overnight and it dries things up and it actually helps to kill that bad bacteria it's phenomenal so this is something my kids have used they love it they always have mommy make me some more of that little pink stuff that they have <laughs> in the bathroom right because they they don't yeah. call me mommy the teenagers don't call me mommy. <laughs> my little ones call me mommy yeah. still but not the teenagers um, but it's a great spot treatment so that's a fantastic way to you know, get rid of the acne. And again, it's completely natural. It's not like some of these very potent, right. you know, topical things that can be prescribed, yeah. uh, which again, have those negative side effects. So, mm. so that is a great, and one of the studies actually shows that the tea tree oil is very um, protective against the against the acne and they found that it actually helps to kill some off some of oh. that which we can see in the study it helps to kill some of that that bad bacteria of course that is related to the acne 
Yeah. Now, what about the sun? Because I know that we did an entire episode on the sun, actually. But will it help with acne? Yes. So the different wavelengths of light. So some studies that, which we can see here have uh, actually shown that the UVA radiation of the visible light and infrared light. So these are at different wavelengths during the day. Uh, we have the mm. different wavelengths of light uh, from the sun, but they help to target that again that specific uh, bacteria that's related to the acne and has also you know not had the inflammatory response so it has you know that balancing effect on the skin microbiome which is fantastic as well as I know some people go to have treatments with infrared lights and that's definitely helpful as well yeah. um, so if you can seek somebody out who and this is something I used to do with my patients as well um, having um, low intensity light therapy mm. uh, system and doing that on the skin was was incredible for them to, to help to clear up the acne. So absolutely. Um, so my tip for sunlight exposure, which is definitely, we have the whole episode on sun exposure on YouTube. So uh, our viewers can check that out. But my tip is to get 12 minutes at 12 noon. That's when the UVA and the UVB is the strongest. So it's only 12 minutes. So for people who say the sun is not good, we need a little bit absolutely to help. And that's why um, we shared all of those tips in, in that video. But 12 minutes at 12 noon and only 12% of your body covered. <laughs> Which 12% would that be? <laughs> well, uh... yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully that's a good choice. <laughs> we can determine that ourselves, I guess. Okay. Absolutely. And but yeah. certainly the the spots. So if you have yeah. acne on your face, you're going to make sure you're exposing your face for those 12 minutes, but it helps to mm. regulate and and our skin needs the sun. I mean, it's like a plant needs the sun mm. or the skin needs the sun as well. Mm -hmm. um, for a lot of reasons that haven't I'm convinced haven't even been discovered in in regular mainstream, wow. yeah. you know, science yet because yeah. It, it just is. There's so many photoreceptors in all our skin cells and it has a lot to do with our hormonal balance, our vitamin D, we know absolutely, but yeah. for our overall health, but for the health of our skin and the microbiome as well, it's important that we get that natural sunlight exposure. So, so. once again, 12 minutes at yes. 12 noon covering 12% 12 of your body. Exactly. Okay, 12, 12, 12. Yeah, so if you've got questions, you know, about sunlight exposure, be sure to check out our other video all about the hidden secrets of the sun. And if you've got questions for me, I'd love to hear from you. Also make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and, you know, share with your friends as well. If you have family members that are looking for natural solutions to help with different, you know, things that they may be suffering through, we would love to help and you can share the good news by sharing this channel I, we would really appreciate that and we love your support we love the fact that you love our shows and for all the great you know reviews and feedback that we get here at the Dr. Jeanine show it just keeps getting better and better so we thank you all for that and be sure to follow me as well because on social media I've got different information going on like I'm a crazy person behind the scenes <laughs> you can't imagine um, we've got a lot going on so we're filming at all times on different mediums so whether that's TikTok and no, I'm not dancing on TikTok, but <laughs> on TikTok, we share different, you know, health information and tips and tricks, uh, recipes and things. So that's one medium. Also, uh, if where and wherever you're following me, it's at Dr. Janine. So you just spell it out D O C T O R J A N I N E. And I'm Dr. J9. If you look here, Dr. J9 Live is where you'll see, you know, some of the handles as well. So on Twitter, we've got the podcast now as well. So wherever you can tune in and, and share the information with your friends, um, because likely, you know, if it's not a topic that is of interest to you, you never know by sharing the information that it may really help someone down the road and maybe even someone that you don't know who really needs to get this information. And I, I thank you all for that because we couldn't be here if we didn't have you know all this great feedback from our viewers and oh, certainly over the years we've been doing this a long time now so whether it's TikTok, Instagram Reels now is a new thing which I love doing and I I yeah I put out different bits of information bad bad yeah, but you know backed by the science but also based on my clinical experience as well over the years as a naturopathic doctor so you know you can find me everywhere so make sure you're following me in all these different spots so you don't miss anything.